okay so you have taken your important exams and you applied for match and now it's time for appearing for interviews right so these are the things which you should keep in mind and things you should avoid when you're appearing for the interview okay so this is how to not fail your residency interview so first one you should know what's written in your cv right because you wrote it when you write your cv write your application and submit it to the program your program and the program director and faculties at least expect what you have written in your cv because that's written by you so know each and every line of your cv in and out what awards you received why you received what's in the research section what's in the experience section what's in your hobby section know each and everything in and out if they ask any specific question you should be able to answer it thoroughly okay so first thing is know your cv second one is is you know program directors should feel that you are genuinely interested in their program and these days they are not you know just focused on how many programs you applied rather how many programs you actually signal to right so there are gold signals and you know other signals during this match cycle so they really are interested in knowing whether you are really interested in that program and let's say if you get the interview you should be really genuinely interested in that program okay how will you genuinely show the interest you should be researching that program prior to giving your uh, interview you should know everything about program director as much as you can what's in the public domain right what whatever is in the website so research the program that's very very important okay don't feel like okay this is a community program i am not interested and i am not going to rank this program because it's not my it's not in my geographical you know preferred location don't just feel that or don't take that interview for granted okay so give your 100% if you have if you have got that interview give your 100% and don't let the program feel that oh he's just sitting here and not interested in the, in, in the program okay the third one is is inadequate research on the program okay how to research for the program you know you have the websites right there'll be residency websites so look at the residency websites carefully read about the residency program you can also read about the faculties you are interviewing with okay so before the interview you'll be given the list of faculties and the program director who will who will interview so read about their cv read, read about their interest what they are interested in and that way you know you'll find some common topics to talk about right so read about faculties and the program director and especially if a faculty is very much into research you can read about their recent publications and then you can talk about that right hey you i saw you recently published about you know atrial fibrillation i'm also interested in in the disease process of atrial fibrillation and then you can talk more about that so read about recent publication know some program strength and you can also look at their social media like for example our program has their own have we have our own instagram page so you can look what residents are doing and kind of you know get a sense of how the residency program is okay the fourth one is inauthentic answers you know this program directors and faculties have been taking this interviews for decades and decades for years so they know if you are lying in front of their face okay so whatever experience you mention whatever the patient experience you mention or patient story your own story make sure it's authentic and it's real don't just make it up because they will know okay the fifth one is make sure you have some non verbal feedback or non verbal communication like for example if they are talking about something you should you should be nodding your head or you should be making ah okay i got that or you should be always having a smile and you should that's how you should start the interview hey you know nice to meet you doctor so and so so and always you know know the name of the faculty and if you are inter- if you are img you have to know how the faculties are you know, called here like for example it's doctor and their last name so like for example dr popot so you have to know how to call them and you should address them during the interview that's important okay so those are some of the non verbal communication aspect you have to keep in mind and of course you have to wear professionals don't wear just shorts or pants D- don't just wear shorts because that's embarrassing if they ask you to stand up and pick up something and show something that's very very important okay you you should be dressed full if and that should be professional dress okay the sixth one i would talk about is some of the technical aspects you should have a good microphone right 
I use a cardioid microphone, then you should have a good camera, okay? Your background should be neat and clean. Don't make it cluttered background. Like for example, right now, I if I were interviewing, my background wouldn't be like this. I would rather keep my background simple. And during my interview, I had guitar on my background and uh, a piano on my background. So that's a way to showcase your hobbies or maybe a painting you want to keep in your background which you want to talk about okay which you sketched or anything which you know relates with you and should be a talking point in your interview okay so choose your background wisely and don't just you know select a green screen with hazy borders and which is you know anyone can make out this is like 2024 you have a good technology so make a good use of that technology okay make sure the lightings are good don't just you know take the interview from your camera and uh, there's a poor lighting you should have a good lighting source okay there are ring cameras there are good webcams there are good microphone on amazon you should just check them out okay seventh i would talk about before the real faculty and program director in interview you'll be in the waiting room of virtual waiting room right so in the virtual waiting room you might have program coordinator some residents so don't just take them for granted okay engage with them interact with them that affects a lot and finally during the conclusion or during the end of your interview you should always ask questions if you don't ask question that means you're not interested in that program so always ask question and how you will ask great questions you have to research that program very well right how does your program do with diversity inclusion and equity or how do you think is is the research at your program? What are certain subspecialties your residents or internal medicine residents have matched into? Okay, what are the biggest strengths of your program? What are some of the areas of your program you think there is still room for improvement? So you should be asking some intelligent question, not like why are you, you know, why should I choose this program? You know, just, you know, it's not so cliche question. Try to make your unique question which program directors would have to think and that's how they will remember you. And remember, during the entire interview season or entire interview process, you just have to make a, a pictorial or a lasting, lasting you know, impression that, hey, yeah. And when, when they do their rank order list, they'll have you know, many photographs in front of them and they'll, that's how they'll decide how will they know you interviewed with them. They should have some emotional connection. Don't just focus on the technical aspect, okay? So focus also on some emotional connection. You just have to make sure that there is something which they remember even after two to three months after your interview, okay? Those are some of the important things. And if you are applying for the match cycle, we are here to help you. So make sure you check out our website and our interview interview package where we'll be helping you with your CV editing, your interview preparation, and we'll be here for your unlimited you know, chat support and we'll be there uh, till your end of your match cycle, okay? So make sure you check that out and we'll be here for your help anytime, okay? If you have any further questions or any other ideas which you should keep in mind during your interview season, please answer in the comment below, okay? Thank you.